Right, so apparently Apple's at it again, um, adding features that scare customers or is getting them to think their Mac is broken or causing their Mac to be broken and then having them upgrade or get a new Mac. So on a lot of the older MacBooks, I've had customers um, call or message me that their battery isn't charging. They weren't getting the um, usual triangle warning where it says to replace your battery or battery needs service. Um, but they were saying that their battery is just stuck and it's not charging completely. So if you're having this issue with your Mac, um, there's a good chance it might be related to the Big Sur update. Um, I don't know if you're on a newer OS because by the time this video you watch this video, you might be on a newer OS than Big Sur, but this might be the reason why. So Apple added this new feature. Um, so here you can see if your charging is paused or on hold on your Mac, then that might be related to this feature. So with Mac OS Big Sur, your Mac learns from your charging habits to improve the lifespan of your battery. In Mac OS Big Sur, optimized battery charging is designed to improve the lifespan of your battery and reduce the time your Mac spends fully charged. When your features, oh, when the feature is enabled, your Mac will delay charging past 80%. In certain situations, your Mac learns your charging routine and aims to ensure that your Mac is fully charged when unplugged. So on the Mac computers with the Apple M1 chip or the T2 security chip, um, the optimized battery charging is turned on by default when you set up your Mac um, or after you update the Mac OS to Big Sur. Um, so I've had customers that don't have this M1 chip or the T2 security chip and they've been having this issue. Um, it's a nice feature. The only thing is on some computers, Apple hasn't been really giving a good notification so that people know what is going on. So here you can see um, they talk about this resume charging. So if you need to have your Mac fully charged sooner than what it thinks you need, um, then you wanna click this charge to full now in the battery status menu. Um, so here you can see if they update it properly on the new ones, it shows this um, battery power source is the power adapter. And then it says the charging is on hold because the battery is rarely used. Um, so you can click that button down below that says charge to full now and it shows you like what apps are using the power and things like that. So on the Macs that um, my customers were complaining, uh, they don't get this um, charging on hold rarely used and they don't have this charge to full now button. All they have is power source is the power adapter and then it just says um, not charging. So my customers were panicking. They thought maybe their charger's bad, that their battery's bad, um, that the charge port's bad. But it turns out that Apple was actually enabling this, um, this battery saving feature, um, which again is a nice feature. Um, I've had customers that they almost never use their battery. They leave it plugged in all the time and then the battery starts bulging out or it gets damaged and it doesn't charge anymore. Um, the other thing is you don't want to completely drain your batteries either. It's actually bad to completely drain your batteries and leave it completely dead. So Apple is trying to um, basically um, help people use the battery in the way that you should for optimal uh, battery life. But the problem is, again, that they don't really tell people or warn them or give a reason why they're doing it. They just have this thing here. So if you see this message and you say that your battery is rarely used, charge to full now, um, you're not going to know why they're um, putting your battery charge on hold. You're just going to go, OK, well, I want my battery full. So then you're probably just going to click that button and charge it to full whether you're using it or not. So that's kind of part of the problem. If you don't understand why they're doing it, then you're going to just be like, well, I want my battery 100%. And yeah, so they're trying to basically um, make it so that people don't have to know why. I don't know. They're just blindly doing stuff without telling people. So here you go. You can see it says you can check the charge status. Um, so when the optimized battery charging is active, the battery status menu displays when your Mac will be fully charged or whether charging is on hold. If you keep your notebook connected to the power most of the time, then you might see this message charging on hold, rarely used on battery when the charging is paused. So again, it says you might see this message. So what happens is 
if you don't rarely use your battery. So let's say you just um, use it once in a while and then it decides, let me not charge your battery now because you don't need to have it fully charged yet. It's not going to tell you this charging on hold rarely used on battery. It's just going to say battery is not charging or charging is on hold. And you're going to wonder like, how come my battery isn't charging, but it's plugged in? It makes no sense. So this is like some tricky thing that scares people. And then they have to go to the Apple store or call Apple and be like, for some reason, my brand new MacBook, it's not charging. So this is some, I don't know why Apple doesn't make it more widely known what they're doing or explaining why it's happening so that people can understand. There should be like a little question mark next to the thing or like a, one of those information buttons so that you can click like why is it on hold or why is it not charging. Um, that would greatly help with people understanding what's going on here, especially with older MacBooks people will think that their battery is broken or charger's broken or their charge port. So I've had several customers calling about this again. So here you can actually pause or turn off this optimized battery charging thing. So if you want to temporarily pause or turn off the optimized battery charging, just follow these steps. Here you can see, go to the Apple menu on the top left corner, system preferences, and then you can click on battery, select the battery in the sidebar there. All right, and then you wanna go down here to this optimized battery charging. You can uncheck that. And then once you um, save that setting, so once you uncheck that, here you can see deselect it, and then click turn off or turn off until tomorrow. So it actually lets you decide if you wanna turn it off so that it fully charges your battery right away, or you can turn it off to tom until tomorrow and then it will turn itself back on the next day. So again, that's kind of weird that they have this turn off feature here when they already have this full charge now button there, which is basically the turn off feature. Um, yeah, so I guess it doesn't do it for the full day. It just does it for that one charge, I guess. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of weird. Apple doesn't really explain this. I had to like go around and Google and search and then I found out about this problem. So here you see they say learn more. Battery health management is another feature of your MacBook or your Mac notebook that is designed to improve your battery's lifespan. And then you can learn more about battery health management in the um, Mac notebooks with Apple Silicon or Intel processors or silicon. I don't know what silicon. Um, so yeah, that's a weird thing. So it's not, it's a nice feature again, as long as you understand why it's happening and you're not panicking like my, my battery's broken. So I think Apple can do a better job with informing their customers, letting them know what they're doing, why they're doing it, put like a little circle with the eye next to it, like how YouTube does or something. So you can click that for inf more information or something, or a little question mark how Windows does it with a um, please explain like what this is. Help me. Let me know what's going on. So again, um, I don't know. Apple, they like to do things where they're like, we'll think for you. You don't need to use your brain. Um, you don't like to the point where we're not even going to tell you why we're doing this kind of stuff. So again, it is a nice feature, but it's kind of um, bad execution. Like I've, I've gotten so many customers asking me what's wrong. I'm pretty sure a bunch of um, people are calling Apple and eating up all of Apple's customer service time. Um, everyone's like blocking up the phone lines going, why is my Mac not charging? And then it's just because of this. And I have a feeling the um, Apple representatives aren't even going to right away go to, oh, it might be this. They might say your battery's broken and then schedule an appointment or something. So, yeah, I feel like this is just another way to either either the engineers are kind of dumb or it's just another way to get people to upgrade their old Macs because they think their battery's broken and then also get more service um, service visits and charge people for service calls. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.